Close your eyes and watch your breath. When the breath comes in, you stay right here. When the breath goes out, you stay right here. And John Lee's image is of a post at the edge of the sea. As the tide rises, the post stays in the same place. As the tide goes out, the post stays in the same place. Or you can think of yourself as being like a boat. The waves come and the waves go, but the boat has got a gyroscope inside. You want to stay on an even keel. This is an important skill to develop as we go through life, because life has its ups and downs. There's gain and there's loss. There's status, loss of status. Praise and criticism, pleasure and pain. These are the things we meet with day in, day out. And if our mind gets tipped over by these things, then we're in really bad shape. Even the good things can tip us over, say nothing of the bad things. When we get tipped over like that, we forget what's right and what's wrong. And we have to start doing things that we're later going to regret. So make sure you have your inner gyroscope well, well trained. In other words, realizing that the ways of the world are like this. These things come and go, and you want to be able to get the most use out of them while they come and go, but you don't want to get tipped over by them. You get It's obvious there are ways you can get use out of gain, but you can also get use out of loss. You can learn some important lessons. When you're down and out, that's when you find out who your real friends are. The same with status, loss of status. The world dumps on you while you find out who your friends are. Praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. Both the negative and the positive side have their lessons. If you keep your mind on an even keel, don't get tipped over. So have some practice. As things go well in the meditation, don't get tipped over. When things go poorly, don't get tipped over. Just stay steady. Be confident that if things are not going well, they can change easily. If things are going well, you've got to be careful, because they can change easily too. So you can't be complacent, but at the same time you don't want to get discouraged. Have that even keel kind of attitude in the mind. And that'll see you through a lot of things. We tend to think that the spice of life are the ups and downs, but the ups and downs are the things that can really do us a lot of damage. The mind on an even keel is a much better place to appreciate the good things when they come and appreciate the bad things when they come, realizing that there's use in everything if you have discernment. Where does a discernment come from? It comes from a mind that's able to see things clearly. And has a good sense of right and wrong, skillful and unskillful. And you do that by learning how to keep the mind on an even keel, regardless of what's happening. We've su survived a lot of dangers in the past, and a lot of dangers coming in the future. The good things coming in the future, too. You've got to make sure that you can survive them as well. In other words, maintain your goodness regardless. Even the earth shifts under our feet. We saw that last night. So keep your mind balanced, because we live in a world that spins around and shifts around. We want to make sure that it doesn't tip us over as it does. Ramadulom hai jai kao ok. ก็ทางทำใจต้องทำใจกุ้งเราให้ปกติลมข้าวเราก็อยู่ตรงนี้ลมออกก็เราอยู่ตรงนี้ทั้งกระเทียบเหมือนกับเสาที่อยู่ริมทะเลน้ำขึ้นเสาก็อยู่ตรงนั้นน้ำลงก็เสาก็อยู่ตรงนั้นปกติอยู่ของมันนี่ความเป็นปกติของเจตเป็นสิ่งที่เราต้องรู้จักรักษาเพราะอยู่ในโลกที่มันหมุนที่มันคลาดเคลื่อนไปอย่างที่มันแผ่นดินไหวละเมื่อคืนขณะพื้นดินที่เรายืนอยู่เนี่ยมันก็เคลื่อนคลาดเคลื่อนคลาดได้แต่ยายใจของเราเคลื่อนคลาดถ้าเคลื่อนคลาดเดี๋ยวมันหกเมนเทนเทย